and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing an Atlas crate. I am very excited for this because last month was the first month we did an Atlas crate and so we got the, the world kind of the intro box because this one doesn't necessarily have separate activities every single month. They add upon talking about the world. And so it's a little bit unique as far as KiwiCo goes. It's not the same as the other subscription boxes. So this month, we're going to be talking about Italy. And it says build a pizzeria automaton, paint a masterpiece and explore Italy. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel for a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like this, specifically this one that could be great to use for geography and to just give you other curriculum ideas and organizational ideas. So please hit that subscribe button if you're interested in those things. And let's open this box and learn about Italy. So when we open the top, it's being difficult. Here we go. And so it says ciao on the top of it. So it comes with these little envelopes every time. And then inside of this, it has little cards that can be added to a booklet that you get the first month. And so just to briefly show you, so it's gonna go through some things with Italy right here. It'll talk about different things that they do. I'm not exactly sure because we haven't actually had a country yet. So this is really excited, exciting. And then there's a recipe on the back and there's a little sticker that you get to put on your booklet showing that you have traveled to Italy. And then it has the different instructions. So they come in separate booklets. So there's one for building the pizzeria. There's one for doing a little painting. So those are look a lot, a lot of fun. I'm hoping that, because all my kids want to do this one, I'm hoping that we can kind of adapt it. Last month we were able to work together on the project, so hopefully we can do that a little bit this month. But here's a paintbrush and a clip. So we have some watercolors right here and some air dry clay, just like a super teeny one. And we have a bunch of foam pieces, a few wooden dowels in this one. And then this says it's transfer paper right here. So I don't know even what color, it's probably black. And then these must be what they're gonna draw or paint watercolor on. And I don't know what, these are different pictures. They might be just examples of ways you could watercolor or maybe you watercolor over them. Not really sure. And then we have our piece, pieces for our pizzeria. <laughs> So here's some more cardboard, some really sturdy cardboard pieces that we have. Here's the other one with our pizza oven. And then we have a wooden dowel, but it's like a cylinder, not a cylinder, a prism. <laughs> that's what we're going for. It's like a really long rectangular prism. Okay, so that's all that's in this box this month. And I'm, gonna, I'm excited to let my kids get into this and drop things on the floor. No, <laughs> I'm excited to let my kids explore this and for us to explore it together and to let you know how it goes and if it would work for your geography curriculum. Non più dry far colonni amoroso Notte giorno di torno girano Delle belle turbando al riposo Ma ci sento a tu cibo d'amor Delle belle turbando al riposo we just finished doing the Atlas crate and I wanted to show a little a few of the crafts to you and just give you my feedback on it and how I thought it was. First of all, I think it was awesome. I actually I just absolutely loved it. I thought all the resources were great and just the way that they presented it, I thought was really great. So first let me just show you the book. So this is the one they sent in the very first crate about the world, and then you just add your pages to it. So the first few pages are all about the continents, which is what we got last month. And then we put in Italy right here, which is what we just got. So it talks about some things with Italy. It has your little friends that are like on this adventure with you and tells what they're doing when they visit Italy. And then it also had some different activities that it had. That, so it talks about this old ancient game that they would find carved into stone and it's kind of like tic-tac-toe. So on the back, it gives you ways you can play the game with your own kids. So I thought that was really cool. It talks about carving 
you know, carving out of marble, but since that's really hard to do, it gives the suggestion of doing it with soap. So I actually put uh, hand bar soap on our shopping list because I don't have bar soap at my house so that my kids can carve something out of soap. So I'm, I'm excited for them to do that and I'm sure they're gonna have fun doing it. And then it gives you a recipe to make, so bruschetta. From there, and my kids are picky about tomatoes and stuff, so I love bruschetta, but they saw it and they were like, oh, it has tomatoes on it. They'd eat the bread for sure, but just not the tomatoes. So there's were a bunch of just the extra activities that they gave you on the card, so I really love that. And so let me just show you a few of the things that we also did. So it, this comes with the craft, or with the crate. It's a pizzeria. So you get to make it, and this little pizza right here is made out of clay. It's like a foam type of clay. So you wanna make it smaller like this because my son made it big at first and it just goes right through the dowel it's sitting on. So make a little pizza, not a big one. So don't be overly ambitious. And then if you move these wheels, it's hard to see, but it's spinning the pizza right here. And then the fire back here is coming up as well. So I thought that was really cool because this is talking about automatons, which we've seen in our tinker crates that we've done. So my son was able to, he knew what it was when I was like, oh, what does this look like to you? He's like, it's like one of my crates. So I thought that was really cool. It incorporated something from there. And the reason it did is because the guy who invented it, I don't remember who it was now. It's probably someone famous. <laughs> I just like slipped my mind, is from Italy. So that was something else that I thought was cool in these little booklets that it gives us for building the pizzeria. It has a whole bunch, so yes, Da Vinci. <laughs> I knew it was someone famous. <laughs> so he's the one that invented or gave this idea of an automaton. So it gives different tidbits in here that you can kind of teach your kids. It has some more on here, talks about why they toss pizza dough and talks about a margarita pizza and just different things. So I thought that was really fun to just give a little bit more education to it. I don't know, because they can build a craft, but then you can be talking about it as you go and they can learn some cool facts about it. And then the other craft thing that came with it was doing some art. So this is the little booklet, the instructions. And again, it has some different ideas. So it talks about Renaissance, it talks about carbon paper, I guess was invented by an Italian person. So in this craft, they used carbon paper so they could pick a scene, an Italian scene that came with the crate like this. And then you put it on top of the carbon paper and then you put it on top of the watercolor paper. So just, you know, this was once white. <laughs> so this watercolor paper, you set it all on top and then you, they trace this picture and the carbon paper puts it on to the paper as you can see the outline of the Colosseum on here. And then it came with watercolors so they could paint it. So the biggest thing with this is I'm using this for more of a group project than just one-on-one. -on -one. And for the pizzeria, it was pretty easy for my kids to work together and kind of do that. And we just, here's a piece, here's the next extraction. It wasn't too bad. So with the watercolor paper, there was just two watercolor pieces that came with it and my, five-year-old goes to preschool right now. And so he wasn't here. So it was just my two older kids that painted it. But this would be really easy to get, have extra watercolor paper. You can just pick it up at the craft store or order it on Amazon. So you could just easily cut out another piece and have another child trace one if you needed some more. And then I have extra watercolors and it came with this little stylus to trace it. But my daughter, since there was only one of these, just used a pencil. So you can just do that. And it uses these little clips to hold all the papers together so they don't slip around for them. So one of these came with it, and then I've collected some others from other crates that we've had. So if you don't have those, you could use paper clips, you could use those little, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> don't use those, because you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so like something paper clip ish you could use, and that would work as well. So I feel like it's very adaptable to multiple kids or to just one child, if that's what you wanted to do. And then just in this booklet, if you wanted to have kind of a quiz, it's not exactly a quiz, but it gives you a, 
some questions that they could answer after you go through everything about Italy. And then the, you know, they can fill in the mystery word down here with the boxes from up here. So I like, I like that a lot. I just feel like overall it just covered so many wonderful areas and gave so many fun activities. And I am just really impressed with it and I'm excited to see what next month brings. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.